Hey guys, Randy here, coming at you with a tripod review. <laughs> and the, even though the box here shows that this one is kind of an orangish color, it's actually black and green. The, the model I ordered is black and green, so don't let the box fool you <laughs> when you go to order these, because you can get them in, multiple, in different colors. And I, I thought this was a kind of neat little tripod, tabletop tripod that is, but I think this one lends itself more to being an action tripod, more for outdoor use, it comes with a these neat little uh, legs that have the ability to flex and turn, and they almost look like it has armor plating because of the way <laughs> the way it's designed. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this is the way it's designed in here is for a gripping action, like you want to wrap it around a, a pole, or if you need to wrap this around a branch, or even wrap it around your arm. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking about this as far as a costume. November is the beginning of Renaissance Festival time in Texas. October, November, that is. That may actually be in October. <laughs> anyway, to go in costume, you know, you want to film stuff while you're there. And I think this would be kind of cool if you could uh, <laughs> dress it up like a parrot or something like that. And, and it would easily wrap around your arm. And you just walk around with this on your arm and, you know, Polly want a cracker? <laughs> Or you could actually put it up here on your shoulder. I mean, it's got enough flexibility that you can bend the legs around. And I think it would stay up there pretty well. Once I get this, get the hang of it. Because the, the little legs have some tension in them. I can feel it gripping my shirt. And it wouldn't take much to just leave this on your shoulder and go as a pirate to the Renaissance Festival. Or go as a Halloween. I'll go trick-or-treating on Halloween as a pirate. So... That's one of the biggest things about this is it's so flexible. The little legs have a bit of, have a ball joint up here in there. If I can show you better, <laughs> maybe you can see it. But that little ball joint gives this thing quite a bit of flexibility. So the legs will kind of rotate around and go in varying positions as opposed to other types of uh, tripods that have a fixed leg that have just a one joint right there and all they will do or their only ability is to go out and in. This one actually lets you rotate it around so it's more flexible and will fit around more more uh, surfaces. <laughs> it does come with a quick release top with a with a bubble level in there so you can keep it level at all times. So if I can press a little button, it's got a little button on the side there to release the top. See so how it slides out. It does come with two different types of mounts on it. This one is for cameras smartphones and it has an adjustable screw on here so it says on right in here somewhere it will adjust from 50 to 100 millimeters so it will it will hold narrow smartphones and the wider smartphones but I would measure your smartphone smartphone just in case <laughs> to be certain especially if you have a smartphone with a case on it in that case measure your phone with the case <laughs> And it goes on there onto the base plate, pretty simple. I like the fact that the the base plate has a rubber, uh, I get it here, a rubber base on it, so that helps grip the uh, the adapter when I screw it on there. A lot of times, when I'm putting this a base plate onto the phone holder, this little screw right here will keep turning. And fortunately, with this rubber gripper thing, that seems to have solved that little problem. So just kind of turn it around there until you get it in position where you want it. Make sure that the level is still facing where you can see it and not be covered up by the side of this thing. And then if you want to, you can unscrew it real quick. I said you can unscrew it real quick. <laughs> A couple turns. You see me how quickly that came off. And then you can swap it out for this. If you have your GoPro or little compact camera that has that, that type of swivel on it. You can just swap it out real quick if I can hold it where you can see it. It goes on there pretty quick, pretty quick and easy. And then this just kind of unscrews, gives you access to drop your camera holder in there, or your, your camera base, GoPro base. <laughs> Screw it back together, you're good to go. Now I wanted to Kind of throw it all back together here. Actually, you just pop it back onto the 
top like that, you could snap into place. It's good to go. It does have a screw turn on here so that that will allow you to fix the ball head in place. Once you got it where you want it, you can tighten this back up. The compression action will hold it in place. And I do like this. It's got kind of a little, little knob right here to help let you adjust the top. Instead of twisting up here and maybe knocking your camera around a bit or twisting the camera out of place, it's got this little arm right there that lets you play with the settings, tighten it back up, and you're good to go. So, I think this is pretty cool. I like this one as a tabletop tripod as well because this one actually sits a little bit lower than the normal tripod I use on my desk. It's the one I have normally is it's all metal and it only goes down to a certain to a certain height. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I forgot. I was going to show you this one, how compact this one is. So, it, I mean, the legs fold up flat like that. I measured it and it came out to be, let me turn my ruler back around here. When I measured it, you can see if I can get it there where you can see it. It came out to be right at 12 inches to the very top. Now, I was when I first measured it, I measured it to the, to the base here. So it's just a hair over 11 inches tall. And then you add on <coughs> your adapter and your camera height. But I thought that was uh, a pretty good height for a desktop tripod. <laughs> So you can just keep flattening these out more and more and more, however you like. You can then you can adjust it around. So I think it's a pretty versatile little tripod, especially for outdoor use. So that about wraps it up for this little tripod review. It's a pretty cool little tripod. Seems like it's going to be very sturdy and durable, water resistant, <laughs> weather resistant as well. And if you would like to check one of these out on Amazon.com, the link will be down below if you're watching this on YouTube, or it will be up above if you're watching this on Facebook. And I'll talk to you later.